In this short video tutorial, I will illustrate how to use Blender 2.68a to remove non-manifold mesh elements from a mesh structure. Let's start by opening our file. In this case, I have a mesh representation of a skull. And this is what I'm going to be working on. In order to edit the mesh, I will go to wireframe mode by clicking this element down here and go to edit mode. Non-manifold mesh elements are par uh, portions of the mesh that are not watertight. That is, they are uh, imperfections in the surface of the mesh. Uh, if you're going to do something with this mesh like 3D print it, you need to remove the non-manifold uh, mesh elements so that the entire mesh is manifold. That is, it has smooth surfaces without um, non-manifold uh, elements. Blender has a means with which you can visualize non-manifold elements. By hitting Control shift alt m all of the non-manifold mesh elements are visualized. And what I'm going to do is illustrate how we can edit those so that they are uh, removed. So for example, if I choose this orange element right here, if I want to correct the non-manifold mesh, what I'm going to do first is hit A to unselect everything. I know that the target mesh element is here. Then I'm going to control and left mouse click and select this entire region. Next I'm going to hit control I to inverse my selection and finally hit the H key to hide all of the mesh that I do not want to have to uh, visualize right now. All that additional mesh is just going to get in the way. So I hit control shift alt M to highlight that non-manifold mesh element. And you can see here when I zoom in, what this is is it's a uh, it's a spike uh, which is a, just a projection off of this surface which doesn't need to be there. <clears throat> so what I can do is hit the A key to unselect it again, control, and, and I should mention that I'm in the vertex selection mode, control left mouse and that will select all of these unnecessary mesh elements and hit the delete key and I want to delete vertices and they're gone. Now if I had if I hit control shift alt M again I can see that I do not have any highlighted mesh points in orange anymore because this is now manifold. It is a uh, perfect surface. Now let's say for instance that I had deleted this vertex. So if I hit D, delete, vertex. Now essentially what I've done is I've created a hole in my mesh and if I hit Control shift alt m uh, it will illustrate that this hole is not uh, manifold. So there's a, a imperfection in this surface. If I wish to correct this, I can go to Edge Select Mode and select the uh, whoops, select the individual edges that I want to edit. So I hold the Control key, and I can actually select around. Uh, and if I want to create a face with these selected edges, I can hit the F key and that will create a new face. So then I can go ahead and you need at least two edges selected but it is possible to select more and then hit the F key again and now I will have a new face. So if I go back to vertex mode you can see that that face is uh, closing that hole. Control shift alt, uh, shift alt M again uh, shows that there is no defect in the mesh. Now, if I want to go to my next point to edit, I hit Alt-H to unhide 
the previously hidden mesh, hit the A key, which will toggle between selecting all and unselecting all. So I hit the A key and I unselect everything and then hit Control shift alt m again and it will show me the remaining non-manifold mesh elements um, in orange. And then I can just select my next target. So if I want to, for example, go after this one right here, I hit the A key to unselect everything, Control left mouse click, Control I to inverse my selection, H to hide it, Control Shift Alt M again to revisualize my non manifold element, and there you can see it looks like I have another spike. So that's easily fixed. Delete, vertices, Control Shift Alt M again to check it, and it is now manifold. So Alt H again unhides everything and A will then unselect it, then Control Shift Alt M once again so that I can visualize my next target. Hopefully this will help you to correct any errors in your mesh and make them manifold. Thank you.